Hi everyone! If you are new here, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button down below. There's guaranteed to be at least one video in the near future that you'll like from me, and it honestly can't hurt. If you've never seen me before, again, my name is Catherine. I'm a college sophomore at USC, fight on, and I'm living on my own off campus this year actually. So I've had experience in the dorms, I've had experience with a meal plan, without, so I know a bunch of different lifestyles in college and this video is geared towards how to make college more affordable. I'm unbelievably excited to partner with Wells Fargo on a hashtag get college ready hacks series. I think it's a collaboration that's gonna work super seamlessly and benefit all of you. It's really geared for you, the student. Go ahead and follow me and their social media for notifications of the next video. As I go through the following hacks, if you think of any I should have included that you would put in your own hack series, comment them down below, or even better, make your own video with your own list of hacks. I'm gonna go ahead and go through all of those responses and comments and select a few of them to send some surprises to. All right, so let's get into it. These hacks are all about lifestyle. Number one, your student ID is gold. Your student ID is so, so wonderful. There are hundreds and hundreds of stores that love students and will provide you with no tax or 10% off, 15% off, or you'll get a free drink with your meal. There's a huge list of all of these discounts that you can use just by bringing your student ID with you. So always have that in your wallet and check the link in the description to see what places you haven't been using it that you really should be. Second is something that's gonna really save you a lot of time. It's called Red Laser. It's an app on your phone. It does price comparison, so if you're looking at buying like a new binder, or you're looking at buying some paper towels or something, it'll do price comparisons right there on your phone so you don't have to drive from grocery store to grocery store or department store to over there or walk and you just can do it right on your phone so you don't have to spend time looking all around for that. In a similar vein, my next tip is to use Shop Tagger. I've talked about this in a few of my videos, but I really appreciate it. It's basically a browser plugin for Chrome and a website itself, but if you have been looking for some clothing items, maybe you need a classic like black blazer or like a pencil skirt or like a blouse or button-up shirt, anything like that, Shop Tagger will allow you to select your size and the color and then it'll store that for you so anytime there's a discount or that item goes on clearance or there's a sale, it'll let you know and then you can grab the latest deal instead of buying everything at full price. Because you're definitely too busy to keep checking back on those items yourself, it'll do it all for you. Next is probably the best site for college students. If you're not using this to get your books already, you should be. It's called bigwords.com. Basically a site that compiles every method of buying your textbook or book new, used, rental. It also takes into account shipping costs depending on the different sites you use and buyback value. So if you wanna sell it back after you use it, if it is a used or new book, able to put that all together in a, like a really fancy algorithm that I don't know how to explain myself and it'll pump out the best way to buy your books so you don't have to spend tons of time like scouring all these different sites you can just go to one central source that's going to give you the best option and last for the lifestyle hacks is called gas buddy this you could just google this website does exactly what it says it's your buddy for gas I have to pay for my own gas in college. Wah, wah. I'm always looking for kind of like the best quality at the most affordable cost. So Gas Buddy compares all the local gas stations in your area based on price and shows you the brand. And then you can kind of decide based on that instead of taking a ton of time to like drive around the entire three mile radius and find like the best option for you. Now for the food hacks. I recently actually made a dining hall food hacks video that included lots of unhealthy but super tasty recipes, but if you're gonna be cooking on your own, my first tip would be to use a site called supercook.com. This site is so cool. So if you have like butter, you have like Pillsbury biscuits, you have tomato sauce, and you have some cheese, you can type in all those ingredients to the site and it will process that and tell you what you can make recipe wise out of that. So that way, if you kind of got some leftovers, it'll tell you to make a certain soup or a stew or buy one more thing and you got a really good meal. And that way you don't have to always be thinking, okay, what can I do and spend time on that? You can just get to cooking. Also, always, always, always keep your receipts 
from fast food places or just restaurants in general. A lot of the time, you'll kind of just like throw it away as soon as you get it. But on that receipt, if you look down towards the bottom, sometimes there's a survey or a certain code or a link you can go to. And doing something really simple or even just bringing that receipt back can get you a discount the next time you're there. So always look at the receipt, whether there be something there or not, it can be super useful and I rarely do it, but should start doing it more. And last food hack is just to look on your college campus. So USC, pretty big school. We actually have a Facebook page called Free Food on Campus. So we'll always post, you know, this club is having an event on public speaking. There'll be free pizza at 6 p.m. You can go grab a pizza and actually learn with your free food. Maybe there's a speaker series on campus and you'll get free sandwiches or something, but there's always an opportunity on campus, um, especially with one as active as USC. So look around, there might be a free food page on Facebook, depending on your school, or maybe you should actually start one because they're very, very helpful. So those are all the hacks that I know and love, but please comment your own down below or even make your own video with your personal tips and tricks and make sure to hashtag that get college ready so I can notice it. Definitely subscribe to the next video in this series. Thank you all for watching and as always, Cather out.